What is up, my squirt of lights? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Horizon Forbidden West. In the last episode, we began our adventures anew, starting at Barren Light and making our way back out into the Forbidden West once again, as we have many quests to follow up on before we get to the end of the game. Uh, in this quest right here that we're currently working on, A Tribe Apart, we are supposed to be helping out Jax, who is uh, apparently a former Tanakh, but uh, turned Utaru, who is trying to help out this young group of Tanakh. Uh, we went to try and find them supplies, didn't really work out so well, and it's all because the leader of the group is the sister of a newly blinded Tanakh, who will apparently be given a death sentence just for being blind, and now we need to figure out how to solve this situation. Aloy, we were just about to head in. So what will you tell them? That we'll have to make do. Survive in the wilds without the supplies. That will be a hard life. Better than letting Cory be killed if we go back. There must be another way. I don't see one. So, we're all stocked up then? The cache was empty. But we'll be alright without them. I can't let you starve out here. Just leave me. No! Jax. You said Plainsong has too many mouths to feed to take them all in, but what about just- I am not leaving my brother behind. He'll be safe in Plainsong, and the rest of you can head home. It's the only real solution you've got. The Chorus won't like it. But if I vouch for the boy, share my rations with him, I could convince them. I will do so if Korra wishes. No, you're not taking him. Sakura. I think this is the best option. I'm a burden to you out here. This is what I want. Let me go with him. Permission granted. But brother, this is not the end for us. I will visit you in Plainsong, and no Utaru or Tanakh can stop me. They will be foolish to try. I'll stay and help them pack their gear, then take Korra back with me. You've shown strength and wisdom today. A rare combination. You have my thanks and theirs too, I'm sure. There it is. The tribe apart is complete. Okay, I'm sure we can actually meet up with them when we get to Plainsong, which is actually the direction we're going to be heading uh, next, as a matter of fact, if I can find the thing that I'm looking for. But on the way, we're going to make a little bit of a detour. There is a stop over that way that we can obviously fly directly to with the help of our Sunwing. So let's get the heck on out of here. Oh, man. The, seriously, the tr amount, the traversal with this is just so much nicer now getting around and never have anything to worry about again. So, uh, yeah, ignore the rain trace hunting grounds thing. We've literally already done that. I have no idea why it's even telling us about that. So we're obviously not going to actually go that way. I really hate that the hunting grounds and the melee pits just, no matter what you do, you can't freaking get rid of those out of your quest menu. Goodness. And no leap lashers. Don't even try it. It's not going to work. So let's just keep following this. Wait, where? Where, where is it at exactly, Aloy? I don't see it. I see a burrower. I don't see a... Uh, Huh. I don't see a plow horn anywhere. Very strange. Very strange indeed. I'm sure we'll find out more a little bit later on. But for now, let's drop down in here. I am going to actually jump down into the red grass if possible. So, okay. Well, I was going to try to glide, but that didn't work out so well. What do we got? This looks like a metal flower of some kind. But I'm sure this scrapper here is going to make my life a whole lot harder if I don't take care of it. Um... Let's see. I'm going to let you... Do you want to walk over to where you saw? Don't walk over here, please. Come on. I mean, I can absolutely just brace shot you if you want me to. There we go. I should take care of that. Anything else notice? Let me try to quickly get this flower open really quickly. Ah, come on. Get this... Really quickly get this flower open really quickly. My goodness. That could not have been a more redundant sentence. I know I say stuff like that all the time, but... 
All right, Ancient Valuable's chest. There we go. All right, we got some Overdraw damage and a Purge Water Defense Weave. Both are in the green, though, which means I am not going to be using them regardless. Now, let's get to Plain Song and uh, see what we can find there. And there's a Sky Drifter site. That's the other thing, too, is you can actually discover undiscovered locations incredibly easy uh, by doing this, which is nice. So, okay, the old growth. Talk to the survivor. We got to... Wait a minute. Yeah, no, no, no. That is the direction I want to go. So it looks like we actually got some quest stuff that we can follow up there, which is pretty good. Uh, but there's actually a little bit more to it that we're going to be doing in the area as well. Go away, Sky Drifter. I am not going to deal with you at the moment. I'm just going to actually fly over to the entrance and we'll make our way in normally. Ignoring everything else over here. Yeah, don't, don't worry about it, Ailey. We'll find a spot. If you ever see those little... Uh, Oh, uh, that is not what I meant to do. I don't know why you decided to go that way. If you ever see, like, a little icon for, like, a sun wing that's, like, pointing down at the ground, uh, that is a place for you to actually land it. Yeah, maybe I'll check in on him, too. Thanks, Aaron. All right, sounds like we really need to go to Hidden Embers, and we will, we will, in due time, but I've got some other stops to make in the meantime. It looks like we have a new quest here, uh, as well as this one with, where is it, in the errands, the old growth. So we need to talk to the survivor, which that's an optional portion of the quest, but, oh, get, get, what the, what am I stuck on? I'm stuck on a person, get off. We're going to head up here and talk to them first, and uh, also grab the quest after the fact, so... Let's see what we can get while we're in here. And uh, I'm just going to ignore everything else, like the dyers and whatnot. There's the survivor from the hunting party. Let's talk to him. Will you trade today? Then, I'm here about the machine in the old growth. You're going after that horror. I'm going to try. Do you mind answering a couple of questions about it? I'll, I'll tell you what I can. Tell me what happened, step by step. There were five of us, hunting for boar to help feed the tribe, just like we had done half a dozen times before. Some machines got in our way. Happens every time we go to the old growth. Like always, we cleared them out. But this time, when we were done, we heard this roar. Hey, easy. I saw a flash from the trees, all claws and tail. It ripped right through Cole and Re and Zan. Came right at me, slashed my shoulder. There was blood. Then an arrow slammed into its neck. My friend Lau, he distracted it, yelled and whooped it. It turned on him. He disappeared into the trees and it followed him. Last thing I heard him yell was for me to run. So I did. I was halfway back to plain song before I realized what I had done. Left loud to die. Is there anything you can tell me about the machine that might help? It looked like a claw strider, but it was stronger. Much stronger. Anything else? Its armor was darker and it had a strange purple glow. Thanks. I think I know what I'm dealing with. I need to get going. You don't want to fight that thing. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Well, if you do, I hope you cut it to shreds. It killed Lao, my oldest friend. Did it, or do you just think it did? I guess there's no way to really know. But yeah, it looks like we're going to be going up against an Apex Claw Strider. That's very doable. Um, let's grab this quest now, but before we do that, if we head on over here, we have someone we can talk to, which is... Aloy, wasn't sure you'd ever come around. What do you think of Plainsong? It's quite a place. <laughs> sure. As long as you like the smell of manure. Ah, uh, don't mind me. I won't go wandering again, I promise. There are people who need me here. Some of the others the Eclipse took had it worse than me. A lot worse. Do what you can for them, Yef. I will. It won't be anything like you did, but I'll give it my best. 
course, remember Yef from that final quest against the Eclipse, where we uh, we were able to finally take down the leader, and Yef was one of their captives who actually helped us get into their base. So, probably the most important Otara that we met out of that way. Now, let's head on down here and let's talk to Jackson Corey. Hey, Lloyd. I hear you've been making quite the impression on the clan lands. Saving the desert clan from itself, forcing the commander Takote out of hiding, defending the grove from Regala, and ending her rebellion on the wings of the ten. I didn't do it alone. The humble words of a true warrior. Is something wrong? No. Yes. There's a song I want to play, one of my own making, but it's hopeless. I'm just never going to get the sound right. What makes you say that? Back in the clan lands, the Sky Clan built instruments that cast sound to sky and across the mountains. They use long leg throats to make them bellow with the sound of metal. It's how they communicate between villages. Combining that sound with the Utarus would create a melody unlike anyone's ever heard before. But I won't be hunting for any long legs anytime soon. For now, you should try the Metal Weaver again. They might have some new piece you can use. Right. This song means a lot to him, doesn't it? It does, which is why I'm getting him that machine part. It'll be a surprise. The Utaru say that's the best way to receive a gift. Is there a long leg around here? As it happens, one has been troubling some villages southwest of here. You be doing me and playing song a favor by getting rid of it. Interested? Maybe. I didn't think the Tanakh cared much about gifts. When I first moved here, I remember some days were more difficult than others. But I came to embrace the life I found here, and I, I don't see why I can't help Corey do the same. He's lucky to have you. Tell me more about this long leg. It's a particularly nasty one. Looks different, too. Tainted, like the lands around here. It protects a group of machines that overran a small outpost southwest of Plain Song. Its call is easy enough to track, but if it spots us, It'll call reinforcements faster than you can draw your bow. Take it out with the rest of those machines, though. Plain Song has one less problem to deal with, and Core gets to play his melody. Victory for all. If I make my way down there, I'd like to help. I appreciate that. I'll head southwest and see if I can pick up a trail. And with all our questing that we've done, it looks like we have another one that we can go and pick up. The music and metal. Let's take a look at it on the map. So it's all the way over there, which honestly is a bit out of the way. Uh, not really anything else near it that I was planning on doing. So we're, that's probably going to actually be where we head next. Um, what I think I'm going to do, because I do, I do want to go to the old growth, though. And then I would like to head up over here to the promontory as quickly as possible maybe stop off at river him as well we will certainly see i do want to obviously go down this way but this is just kind of back in the other direction so why don't we uh let's see it, is it under errands it is under errands let's just do this one really quickly just because it is one of the shorter types so we'll meet jacks on over that way i just want to uh, briefly make sure that there's nothing i have missed around here i don't think there is i think i have caught everything i needed to i just want to check up in this uh big portion of plain song here really quickly just to make sure there's not any dialogue around here that i can still get because i swear there was one other character we can talk to now that we're out here also look at the little otaru kids oh my goodness they're adorable i sometimes forget that you even have children running around this game at times uh no i think yeah i think that's everything so let's just kind of slide through here and glide our way out all the way until we can get to our sunwing Let's go meet Jax. All right. So this is going to be something we can kind of focus on for the remainder of this episode. Spending a lot of the last two episodes with Jax, as a matter of fact, which I kind kind of find funny. Um, just, how are we doing on time? No, we got we got a little bit more time. We can at least meet him there. Certainly. And and, and then some. I, maybe we can get this done in time. We'll see. So obviously this is going to be an apex long leg, which is going to complicate things a bit. Um... Oh, Jax, is that you? I believe it is. Okay, hold on. Just a second. I am going to do some damage here. Okay, that looks like a Leap Lasher. Just a moment. I am going to hit you with that. 
There we go. Let's get him with that. And then if I can, can I slide in here? No, that's not what I meant to do. This. I want to do... Come on. Let me do the thing. Thank you. That was a very awkward camera angle. It didn't even work, I don't think. All right. Hold on. Hold on. I got it. Ah, son of a gun. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm really trying. I'm sorry. Let me get the overdraw, please. Thank you. That's what I wanted. Get out of here. And then... Here, have this. And then a couple more... Wax. There we go. Okay. Wasn't able to keep you pinned down long enough. You stay right there. And then one critical strike ought to do it. Why are there so much... Ape so many apexes here. Goodness. All right. We'll talk. Let me just uh, take this repair pod really quickly before it goes off on me. You okay? You arrived not a moment too soon, Huntress. I thought I heard a long legs call, so I hastened to follow, but I was caught unaware by these machines instead. There it is again. Let's go find it. It sounds like one, at the very least. Make sure we're heading the right way, though. So have a supply cache up here. Well, let's go this way. Maybe we can climb up the mountain here. Looks like there's a path, at the very least. So see what we'll run into. Let me make sure I'm all kind of topped up on arrows here. I'm actually pretty close to being able to upgrade that pouch, but I, I, I kind of forgot about doing it, and then I just let it languish for a while. We should be able to get to it. There's a ladder that'll take us up. Looks like we're climbing. We'll make quick work of it. Yeah, it's not that hard. Very, very simple. Obviously, I'd prefer to use my Sunwing, but I'm not going to be using that for every quest. Reminds me of my early days as a veteran. Always running off to hunt in the wilds. As far away from plain song as possible. What changed? I saw my first Utaru students become fighters worthy of any Tanakh clan. I felt useful, like I belong. And so plain song, I came home. I'm sure Corey will find his place too. I hope so. Almost there. Oh, it sounds like that long leg isn't alone up there. There's our long leg. And the Yutaru have fell. Might be best to silence it before it can call reinforcements. All right, we'll take it out. I'm going to try to hit it with one of these. And there we go. That should cause a nice explosion. Wait for it. There is that. And now, bye. Okay, there we go. That's the combination I needed. And I think all we have left is spike stouts now, which these guys are not too hard to deal with. One at a time here. Oh, except for when they do that freaking move. I always forget about that. Okay, we got the long leg throat, which is what I needed. Hi! Don't be spraying stuff at us. Gosh dang it. Hold on. Uh, okay, what, what do you... I always, I always forget the spike stouts weakness. Okay, that's right. Uh, so you, I'm going to hit you with one of these. And that explosion should do a lot of damage. Yeah, there we go. All right. And that these are apexes as well. Okay, we can take out the rest of these spike snouts before we go any further. You're another apex. Have this. I mean, I obviously could have used all the environmental stuff in here. But, golly, I, the radius on that's ridiculous. And I think that explosion ought to get the job done. Goodness me. S these spikes are so freaking powerful on these early game enemies. It's kind of insane. There's one more up this way. Um, maybe. Hold on. I'm going to actually try this this time. See if I can bring it to me. Here. Hey, you. Come this way. Come on. All the way over here. Come on. I know you can do it. You don't seem to be super bright. Let's see here. Let's let's get you in the red. There you are. All right, come on. All the way over here. I'm going to lure it this way. There it is. Yeah, try your freaking attack. Come on. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to work. I don't think it wants to come all the way over this way. It's a little bit too dumb, isn't it? Probably. All right. Well, fine. If we're going to play your game all the way over there, I, I wanted to try to roll those logs onto it, but I don't think it's going to let me do that. That was a bad throw. Here, let's try that again. There we go. This is obviously always good on these types. 
There we go. And that should do it. Is that going to blow up on you? Any second now. Oh, no, you don't. Ooh, nice try, though. I'm waiting for the explosion. No point in sending another one its way. Don't do it, Jax. You should not have gotten close to that thing. Care to show me our prize, Huntress? I've, I mean, I've got it. Let me take a look in this supply cache, though, first. Uh, are you going to let me talk? I want to talk to you. Many thanks, Aloy. Without you, I might have been in trouble. Why don't you take that piece to Corey for me? The villagers felled by these machines need to have their seeds buried properly first. Are you sure? Tell Corey I better be the first to hear that song of his when I return. And we will do that in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Horizon Forbidden West. I hope you all enjoyed it very much. Next time, we'll head back. We will give this... Uh, piece of the long leg to Kore, and then we will move on out from there and head off to the old growth deal with that Apex Claw Strider. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.